Yo, what is good everyone? Welcome back to another Minimal Mondays. So in last week's video, we broke down and reviewed every detail relating to the Jordan 4 White Thunder. For the purposes of today's upload, we're going to be adding the second installment to the series centered around the aforementioned Jordan 4s as they have just released and have gotten a ton of attention from casuals as well as sneakerheads alike. And to be honest, the appeal makes total sense as the Jordan 4 silhouette is arguably one of the best to ever come out from Jordan brand and this color blocking is just absolutely incredibly versatile. Now for this second installment, we put that versatility to the test by styling them with a few different garments from our website with all links provided in the description below. But just before we jump into it, I did want to encourage you to like today's video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on. Not only does that help us here on the channel, but it ensures that you don't miss out on any future uploads, such as the third and final installment around this mini series around the Jordan 4 White Thunder, where we showcase three more additional outfits with these sneakers here. But with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into the first outfit. For this first outfit, I decided to keep things very clean and casual and threw on our everyday baggy denim. Offered in a myriad of different waist sizes and lengths, the everyday denim is the perfect pair of denim to go ahead and pair with any of your sneakers, which does include the Jordan 4 White Thunder. They are designed to fit relaxed through the thigh and slightly tapered down to the ankle while maintaining a predominant baggy nature throughout. Now despite the baggy nature, go ahead and take your true to size size in both waist as well as length. Here I am wearing a size 30 with a 30 length, 5'7", weigh about 170 pounds with a waist size of a 30 and these here fit great. I went ahead and paired that with a simple basic white t-shirt and over that is the faded basic zip up hoodie which is designed from 100% French terry cotton, features a T8 metal zipper at the chest and kangaroo pockets at the side. This piece does fit slightly over size so go ahead and take your true to size size for intended fit. I love this piece because it's more than just a basic zip up hoodie as it is rendered through our faded garment wash which produces this beautiful faded olive look. For this second outfit I wanted to test the precipice to which baggy pants could be paired with the Jordan 4 and threw on the ultra baggy cargo pants that are designed with a very oversized and baggy fit constructed from a ripstop fabric with a custom rinse wash and for added detail and utility has tons of cargo pockets and snap closures all the way throughout finished with a button placket and as you can see here the pants definitely live up to their ultra baggy name as there is plenty of room in these pants but in my opinion they absolutely complement the silhouette of the Jordan 4. The top is the Locust and Wild Honey Thorn logo long sleeve t-shirt which is constructed from a heavy weight 280 GSM 100% cotton and is processed through a wash house for vintage finishing. It is printed inside out so you have the option of wearing it on the reverse side as a blank tee and is designed to fit relaxed featuring a boxy drop shoulder cropped fit. Again, go ahead and take your true size in this piece and you should be good to go. But moving on to the third and final outfit of today's video, I did want to shake things up quite a bit and deviate from just a standard pair of black pants as we saw in the first two outfits and opted to go with the V266 Camo 2 baggy denim. These are designed with the new and updated V fit, which is more relaxed throughout and features a vintage wash and is constructed and developed from a hunting camo fabric. As you can see, it is a louder pair of pants. What's really nice about this pair is that they act as a state and piece for this outfit. The subtle color blocking of the White Thunder allows this pair to really, really pop out, which only solidifies just how versatile this sneaker actually is. But as I mentioned, that was the third and final outfit of today's video. I'd be interested in hearing what your thoughts are down below around the Jordan 4 White Thunder. Did you end up picking them up over this weekend or did you decide to skip on them altogether? If you need a little bit more convincing, as I mentioned, I do have a third and final installment of this series here coming to the channel. So you don't wanna miss out. Make sure you like today's video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss that video, which will be preceded with other early sneakers on the way. As always, I like to thank the Minimal community so much for the continued support, and I'll catch you again in the next upload for another Minimal Mondays.